wanted to do a step-by-step -step how to video on how to make apple pie party dip along with cinnamon sugar homemade chips so it's super easy to make and it's super fun and I find that this is something that's really easy to make and then take along with you it's kind of easy to transport I guess if you're going to a holiday party or anything really in the autumn in the winter months I find that this is so easy and it's kind of like a modern twist on an apple pie now I found this recipe online and also I just want to let you guys know that I can see myself in the reflection of this camera and I look pink right now I'm not sunburned I don't know if it's the lighting in my kitchen or what it is but I feel like I'm looking pink right now but anyways um oh yeah I found this recipe online but I've changed it quite a bit so I will link the original the original site that I found the recipe to in the bottom bar below but if you go to that you will actually see that mine is a little bit different um yeah let's go ahead and get into the tutorial I guess of how you make this apple pie party dip along with I feel like I've said that 10 times already in this video but the apple pie party dip along with the homemade cinnamon sugar chips now if you guys make this recipe film it and leave it as a video response to this video I would love to see if you have any changes or anything like that so yeah um, here we go all right so the first thing you want to do is take a medium-sized mixing bowl and three apples now you can use any kind you like but I used granny Smith I like the way that the tart taste of these apples mixes with the sweet taste of the rest of our ingredients so any apples you'd like just three kind of average size apples you can kind of eyeball it but you want to skin them or peel them and then put them into small diced pieces so you can kind of see what these look like so I just diced all of those up and then two that we want to add three tablespoons of apricot preserves so I'm going to put that in oh and before I did this I actually added two teaspoons of lemon juice that's going to prevent your apples from browning but I went ahead and did that because I didn't want my apples to start getting brown before I had a chance to film so now you just want to kind of stir that in a little bit and as we keep adding ingredients and stirring um, all of the ingredients will kind of be combined but just keep putting all of that in and stirring it up and just be careful with the apples you don't want to like jab the spoon in too hard just because apples do bruise easily okay and the reason we put a little bit extra apricot preserve than most recipes call for is because I find that I don't like these chunks of apricot see how this one had like this entire chunk that's not um, like I don't know breaking up I don't know what that's called I just like to dump that out and then keep mixing so that's why we put a little bit more than most recipes will call for and then we want to add two tablespoons of light brown sugar or golden brown sugar you could use dark brown if you like the taste better but I just prefer to use light brown and I find it's easier to find in most um, grocery stores not all of them carry dark brown but I find pretty much everywhere has light brown sorry I'm rambling that probably doesn't matter oops all right and then to that we want to add one tablespoon of ground cinnamon and so I just like to kind of start this I put probably about half of it in like this and then I'm just gonna mix this in and I'm probably not going to put the entire um, teaspoon of cinnamon in. I'm sorry did I say one tablespoon of cinnamon I meant one teaspoon and if I said one teaspoon then I guess I didn't need to correct myself um, I like to have one teaspoon ready but you can kind of tell by the look of your um, apple mixture if you need to add more so I'm gonna add a little bit more but I'm probably only going to end up using about a third of this or I guess you could say I used about half so it's all about eyeballing it and if you want on your way through here you can see what I have left so I used about half um, on your way through you can actually taste it and that'll tell you a lot so yeah we added half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon but again it depends on sorry I'm making a mess it depends on the size of your apples um, because obviously all apples are different sizes so you can't really um, have all the ingredients exactly pre-measured all right, so now you can see I have another little apricot chunk right here I'm just going to remove that because I really don't like the taste of that and I'll get that out of the way all right so now we are done with this mixture that's how quick and simple it is now you want to cover this and put it in the refrigerator you want it to chill if your guests are arriving pretty soon I find you can put it for about 15 minutes in the freezer but I wouldn't leave it any longer because then um, the apples start to get ice crystals on it and then when you take it out of the freezer and the ice crystals start melting it makes your um, 
your apple pie dip a little bit more runny. So if you need to chill it quickly, you can in the freezer, but otherwise, if you have time, just put it in the um, refrigerator, cover it, you know, make sure so that it doesn't absorb any of the other smells from your fridge. And then also this is best served the day of, but you can put it in the fridge overnight and serve it the next day if you wanna pre-make it for a party. So I'm going to cover this and put it in my fridge and then get ready to show you guys how to make the chips. All right, so this next part is really fun. The first thing you wanna do is take some melted butter and I like using unsweetened and then just a pastry brush. And I'm just going to brush this butter onto this cookie sheet so that our flour tortillas don't stick. And this is how we are going to make our sweet cinnamon sugar chips to go along with our apple pie party dip. So I'm just, you know, kind of doing a thin layer across this entire cookie sheet, just like this. All right, perfect. Now you wanna take your flour tortillas and I've cut these into little wedges. I did four flour tortillas, but depending on how many people you're serving, you could do as many or as little. And I'm just going to start putting these on my cookie sheet. All right, so it looks like this is as many as I can fit on one sheet, but that's totally fine. I can do two different rounds of them. And also, I didn't tell you guys at the beginning, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Sorry, I should have told you that. All right, so now with the pastry brush, you just wanna take a little bit of the butter and just kind of dust it over each one. too much butter because I find that that's just going to overpower the taste but this is just enough to make the cinnamon and sugar really stick and hold on and then when you are done with that you want to take some granulated white cane sugar and just kind of dust this over all of them All right, and then the last part, which gives it its cinnamon flair, you wanna take some cinnamon, and I find that when you just sprinkle this directly onto the flour tortillas, it gets little clumps of the cinnamon, and I don't think it looks very pretty, nor does it taste very pretty, um, or taste very good. Did I just say taste very pretty? That's embarrassing. So what I like to do is just sprinkle a little bit on the center of each one, and so I'm just going to do that. All right, and then with my pastry brush, I just kind of, um, mix all of this in and it kind of soaks it in and it gets all of the flavors all over and I've made this a couple times and I find that these taste really yummy and each bite has equal parts cinnamon whereas when you sprinkle it on I find that some bites have cinnamon and some bites don't and yeah and depending on who you're serving this to you can do more or less cinnamon on people's individual tastes And if you get a little bit too much on one, like I did on this, just dump off a little bit at the beginning before you start spreading it in, and then it will get rid of some of that. And if your brush starts getting too dry, you can just dip it in a tiny bit of the butter to help kind of spread all of the cinnamon and sugar throughout the entire flour tortilla. I find that if your brush has a little bit of moisture on it, it just spreads more evenly. All right, so now these are ready to be placed into the oven for about 10 minutes or until they're golden brown. So our cinnamon sugar chips are done and I've let them cool for a little bit. And as you can see, you know they're done when if you see this one, see how it's like bubbled up on the side and there are some bubbles in it. That's when I find they are best. So I am just going to put these onto a plate, get them off of this. This is also easier to carry, obviously, if you are going to be taking these to a party. Oh my goodness, they are so delicious smelling already. My sister just popped her head out of her bedroom and she was like, it smells so good. All right, so we have this. And then next, you can obviously serve your apple pie party dip just in the bowl that you mixed it and that it was chilling in. So I've had this chilling in the fridge for a little while. And now, 
I am going to show you guys my favorite way to serve it. So I like to put it in a pie dish because it's like apple pie party dip. Isn't that cute? So if you guys can see at the very bottom, there's actually some of the juices and um, the liquids that have come out of the apples and just everything chilling. I like to mix that back in. Some people like to scoop their apples up off the top and leave the juice, but I find that it has really good flavor. So I'm just going to mix that in. And then I'm going to put my apple pie party dip into a pie dish, which I think is the cutest thing because it's like an apple pie. Get it? I don't know. I'm really excited. Cheesily so. Okay. And now I'm just kind of making it a little bit prettier, just kind of so that it's all even. All right, and then the last thing I like to do is to take one of the apple pie chips and just crumble it across the top. This isn't going to change the flavor much, but I find that it just makes the presentation a little bit cuter. So there we have it, our apple pie party dip along with the homemade cinnamon sugar chips.